Hello everyone on this beautiful morning allow me to do a technical review of a class A power amplifier Aquiface A80 which was just released a few days ago. The output power of this power amplifier is 65 watt per channel. Into 8 ohm you should not use speaker less than 8 ohm. The capacitor is a component that must be present after the diode rectifier, which a capacity of 120,000 microfarad, 71 volt. A power peak meter is a device that does not have to be in a power amplifier, but it is a good idea to have one installed. The Aquiface A80 has 40 red LED per channel. It has a peak indicator can be whole. The LED power peak meter model is an attractive appearance when compared with analogs. The scale shown by a power peak meter is usually logarithmic, not linear. The Aquiface A80 uses a toroidal transformer and does not use a SMPS power supply. It's packed in a can. If I think about secondary voltage, this transformer range from 40 to 45 volt AC. The weight of this power amplifier is 44.6 kg. Even the 8 support called the Atlas is not strong enough to lift it. The final component of this Aquiface power amplifier are 10 pairs of MOSFET transistor per channel. Based on data, the current limit of this MOSFET is 33 to 36 amperes with a maximum working voltage between drain and shore of 150 volt. The frequency response of a 20 to 20 kHz power amplifier is from 0 to minus 0 0.3 decibel at red output. If you want to have this power amplifier, you have to spend 10,300 US dollar. This is cheap or expensive depending on your abilities. To find the ratio between signal and noise, the power amplifier input should be connected to ground and the volume is set to the maximum position. It has a signal to noise ratio of 123 and 129. I will also show you the dimension of this power amplifier from the metric and imperial system. The output stake of the power amplifier to the speaker consists of two pair of terminal. The whole element whole sensor is a magnetic sensor that detects magnetic field and output an analog signal proportional to its intensity. It is mainly used for motor drive and linear position perhaps speaker also. There are three ways to improve the damping factor. First is balance sensing circuitry. Two is to add add wise coil. Three is paralleling with the output transistor. Total harmonic distortion is measurement of harmonic distortion present in signal and uh, defined as the ratio of sum of the power of all harmonic component to the power of the fundamental frequency. 0.03% into 4 to 16 ohm. It has an RCA jack input impedance and balance is 20 and 40 kilo ohm. Greater the impedance value, the more sensitive a power amplifier. The gain of this power amplifier is 25.2 times, with an output voltage of 23 volt AC. We will get the output power voltage is 65 watt per channel. The IQPS A80 can produce 2062 watts of output power in the mono bridge version. If you want to use the stereo version, you have to buy two of these devices. Of course, you must have two power amplifiers. From a safety perspective, thermal devices are important to protect equipment from 
excessive heat when the input voltage is 0.01 volt the output voltage will be 22.9 volt v in and v out put in the gain formula the result is 28.03 decibel a good power amplifier always display the same input and output wave and I also have to tell you about the transformer and power supply of this power amplifier where each country has a different power supply voltage but the secondary transformer output is no difference when the power supply available is 100 volt these are the part that will jump and connect if you are in United States and Canada these are the part that are jump and connected and you have two connection option mode 1 and mode 2 and if you are in Hong Kong or the surrounding area which 224 voltage the connection is as follow and you have two connection option mode 1 and mode 2 if you find it difficult please leave a comment in this video Below in the table that I saw is the effect of not matching the input voltage to the setting of the power amplifier unit. When either the power amplifier uses only 0.3 watts, does not supply the main transformer. This power amplifier consumes a total of 350 watts of electricity.